Uh, we play a bunch of gigs, mga one a year. <laughs> That's how busy we've been. We all got into production, so it's all very difficult for us to have gigs. It's so difficult to find common time for all of us. I put up a website called buhaybasket.com. We're a community of basketball-obsessed um, artists, um, writers, and directors. Seclusion, definitely. Bilang isang director din, pinaka-idol ko si Eric Mati talaga. I mean, isa sa mga pinaka-idol ko. And you know, he doesn't put out lukewarm movies. And you know that, you know, he put his heart and, so, and his soul into it, so... Yeah, and I can't wait to watch the Christian. Um, I had uh, two shows. I had Java Jam and Swag. Java Jam, we'd have guests come in and collab with another guest. We had Indio Eye Jam with Sammy Asuncion. On Swag, we'd bring in different hip-hop artists. One of my favorite that came through was Bamboo, and he killed it. You know, he flew in from LA, did three, four songs, and it was just amazing. You know, you find something you love, and I love music, I love directing, and it was both in one, so I love my time there. Hi guys, I miss you. My character, Marty, he's very basic, so I didn't really have to change much about myself. Although, um, the second time that we shot, there was a gap of five years. So 2005 was the first shoot, 2010. As it happens to some males, they lose some hair. <laughs> so we had to adjust, uh, but I did not have to wear a wig, just to make it clear. I did not wear a wig for the second shoot. The first shoot we had uh, various green shirts, references to other things in pop culture. What we did for the second shoot was, I had a basic uniform, I had a raglan that was green and a different logo on top. So that's basically the biggest change that I noticed. In. Best thing with Enzo is that you call him up, 90% of the time he's ready. <laughs> That's awesome. It's so hard to put things together. So to have him be supportive of the project enough to, if he could set aside stuff to do, to work on what we need him to work on, he'll do that. So that was the most awesome thing. Worst thing is he lost his hair. <laughs> that means we couldn't do, we couldn't add more shots. <laughs> Enzo, when, when I first met him, we hit it off. We're all big Neil Gaiman fans. So we hit it off then and there. And uh, Enzo likes comics too, I like comics. It wasn't really difficult to work with Enzo. We are both very open and trying to like make the dynamic as natural as possible. So it was, it was good, it was a good experience. Yeah, I wish I could say yes, but I had nothing to do with the post-production. I am a director, but what Avid does is completely different from what I do. I mean, I don't think anyone else does it like Avid does. So all I did was sit back and enjoy the enjoy the show. I was fortunate enough to stay close to Avid during the whole process, and he let me watch sometimes. I was funny because uh, there would be years in between where I wouldn't see the editors, I wouldn't see the group. You know, when you haven't seen friends of yours, hey man, how are you? They weren't excited to see me because they'd see my face every day. Like, yeah, we see we see your face every day. Galing, galing, galing.